sakit di kerok baru nak kerok sesak nak sakit di bateri jadi betul nih yang sok aninya aninya enceng tuh saya muda Catherine Kramer by Ford Pichi di jaga on custom excellence pathway kalau saya nampak orang yang hebat tahun tentang kumro anda buat macam kerja kerja software work from on ke orang stem his excellencies teachers and students now we like to invite our guest speaker Dr Catherine Kramer Today, she will be presenting about the introduction to using work from research technology in STEM education. Please welcome. Kat, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kim Sai. And uh, can you see my screen? Yes, Doctor. Okay. So I'm going to start a video because this morning I did lose my electricity. Thank you for attending this presentation. I will be continuing the conversation about the project for implementing the technology of Wolfram Research in STEM education. My name is Dr. Catherine Kramer, and I am the project director of the Cambodia Wolfram Student SARS program. I welcome any questions that you might have. After Dr. Stephen Wolfram and Dr. Paul Abbott's inspiring talks, I would like to share the major Wolfram programs that Professor Chan Roth and I have implemented since 2018. First, I need to recognize the many partners in the ecosystem that help this, the project succeed. Next, I will summarize the major milestones in the project for educators, students, and families. And finally, I will discuss in detail how each of you can freely participate in this truly exceptional opportunity that Stephen Wolfram has given to students in grades four to 12, and also to the instructors who will have the opportunity to work with educators, scientists, and engineers at Wolfram Research as they start the student projects. In 2019, Stephen Wolfram very generously provided 500 mathematical licenses for public schools, the National Institute of Education, the New Generation Pedagogical Research Center, and also Cambodian Children's Fund. Expanding on the reach and impact of the 2019 project, Dr. Wolfram is making available Wolfram One across Cambodia to students in grades four to 12 in the Cambodia Wolfram Student Stars program. In addition, he has for many years supported Mathematica on the Raspberry Pi, which we have used in Cambodia for student STEM projects. Education, youth and sports, National Institute of Education, teachers and administrators at schools, Professor Chan Roth, who's the director of NGPRC, and the co-director in, in most of these programs. Robert Lesur, Suni Brockport, who provided the GoLink software, which we use for the vernier probes that are attached to the Raspberry Pi and which use the Mathematica software. David Sokoloff at the University of Oregon gave us permission to use his interactive lecture demonstrations resources adapted for distance learning on the Raspberry Pi. And Kathleen Koning at the University of Cincinnati gave permission to use her physics course uh, and labs that target scientific reasoning on the Raspberry Pi. So I am with the Cambodia STEM Excellence Pathway and now Advancing Education. And I've been working with uh, professional development. I help write the original MOU with Wolfram Research. I've been working with the curriculum for the Raspberry Pi and for Mathematica and for Mathematica student projects. Of course, very important to us are the organizations, Internet in a Box, Adam Holt, Tim Moody, Jair Van Al, and George Hunt, which we use uh, in parallel to the Mathematica software to provide a much richer environment for student projects and also for instruction in class using Moodle and from the Carnegie STEM Science Center, Tony Stiff for pathway training. The business leaders that were so important, of course, from Wolfram Research, Stephen Wolfram, uh, with over 3,500 licenses and support on the Raspberry Pi, Linus Anika, who provided the software for the Advancing Ed uh, website, which is going to host the Moodle course, which has the 3,000 students enrolled and 80 teachers. Uh, for the project. And also he provided the STEM lending library. And then uh, for Vernier software and technology, David Vernier uh, provided the software for the labs on the Raspberry Pi, which used the Mathematica software. So what have been the major milestones in using Mathematica in Cambodia for educators, students, and families? We focus on using Mathematica 
uh, to train educators, also to provide opportunities to students and to families through a national professional learning community, through the Wolfram workshops, through integrated STEM classes for educators, and then through opportunities to use Mathematic on the Raspberry Pi, and excuse me, the Scouts uh, at the Raspberry Pi Jam in for informal, informal STEM courses. The Cambodia Wolfram program in 2019 was launched with a month-long training for 200 educators and students and with additional classes and clubs afterwards and was supported uh, by Professor Jen Roth, David Bonin, myself, and Wolfram Research. In the month-long workshop, over 20 students and about 200 educators at the National Institute of Education, the New Generation School, Prasisoa, and Cambodian Children's Fund became familiar with Wolfram Computational Thinking on the Raspberry Pi with Mathematica. And they completed several of the computational thinking initiatives, and also students created projects. The Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports awarded certificates to recognize the participants' efforts and commitment to using Wolfram software. In 2018, Professor Chan Roth organized for 500 math and science teachers and 50 student ambassadors at Kid City, a national STEM workshop, and the creation of a professional learning community, the Model STEM Club. There, there were lectures and hands-on workshops, and teachers learned about STEM with the Raspberry Pi, including using Mathematica. A STEM lending library for the community has proven very successful. At the Cambodia STEM Jamboree, 400 14 to 16 year old students uh, and scouts and national and provincial leaders from 25 provinces participated in the week-long robotics and computational thinking workshop. These images highlight a few of the over 80 informal STEM classes where Cambodian University students acted as facilitators. In informal STEM classes, students programmed in Python to control GPIO pins and use Mathematica to process the data. They built an IoT smart house controlled by the microprocessor and explored the use of solar panels. Many different technologies were used matched to the needed level of scaffolding, including the low install robotic arm, Little Bits, Go Pi Go, Raspberry Pi, uh, Unit by Dexter Labs, the Jimmy Robot, Bloxels to create video games, the Dash and Dot Robots, Osmos Coding, and Cubetta, which was really excellent for starting the process of teaching programming, and much more. These images showcase some of the student Raspberry Pi projects in the schools, which were shared at the 2019 National STEM Festival. So there you have a smart garden, which has uh, sensors to detect the air quality and the soil quality, and to remotely supply information about the status of the environment. There is a Raspberry Pi um, face recognition software uh, package, which was created in Mathematica. Also, there is a stop motion camera system, which uh, at one point used Mathematica, but I'm not sure if that's the implementation that's there. And also a uh, vermiculture composting system and others. In 2020, 25 teams and teachers were awarded uh, the annual STEM Innovation Award which included projects uh, that used the Raspberry Pi and some which used Mathematica. And the awards included funding for future STEM projects. This is a few images from the Raspberry Pi Jam, which was a STEM career day using information brochures from the British Embassy. So the third thing is to focus on the Cambodia Wolfram Student Stars online access and projects, which is really the, the highlight of the day. So NGPRC, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports, with support from Wolfram Research, is pleased to invite students grades, grades 4 to 12 to participate in the Cambodia Wolfram Student Stars. Here you have a QR code and you also have the URL. These were announced by Stephen Wolfram in his talk today. This free course will teach programming with the Wolfram language, which is a true computational communication language for humans and artificial intelligence. 
The first thing that you do to participate in the program is to join the online virtual Cambodia's Wolfram Student Stars program. There you will find resources from Wolfram Research uh, and also from Paul Abbott and from Carol Cronin who are supporting the program. In addition, 80 Cambodian instructors and 3,000 students will be in the community. So what will you see when you get to the website? You're going to see the um, mechanisms to communicate and then you're going to see all of the different things which Stephen and Stephen Wolfram and Paul Abbott mentioned. The lab explorations at the beginning uh, in an intermediate and advanced level, the programming lab, which uh, I'll discuss shortly, the AI challenges, the advanced hackathons, and then the 80 instructors, excuse me, and then the 80 instructors will be able to create groups of about 40 students, and we will have specific curriculum for each grade, which will match the ministry's curriculum for um, public schools and also uh, depending upon the instructor, can match the IB curriculum or the AP curriculum if the group is uh, comprised of students who are using the, that curriculum. And this will be a great opportunity not only to share within your group of 40, but also to see all of the projects across Cambodia as we go through this year process. So this is the QR code and the URL for the process to show you how to log into the Moodle course. And I'm showing in the video that process. So you select a student name, a password, and you put in an email address that you filled out in the form. So that way we can match you with a school. And then you put in your first name, your last name, city, town, country, and you select the subject general. Then it will send an email to you which will require you to open up your email and to click on the link to verify that you did make the request. After that happens, you are now enrolled as a student and you can then continue and select the tab, which is we'll wait till it flips. Wolfram Student Stars, you pick that. And then you can see the course. And here you can see that it's going to list the Zoom links, which will meet every Sunday at 2. The links will be coming. Uh, there's the email address for, for questions. There are directions to get Wolfram access, the tools, technology, announcements, uh, our voices discussion where you can post group norms. And then you see all of the different uh, categories of content that you have access to. So this, I think, will be a great help to you as you start this journey as part of the Cambodia Wolfram Student Stars. So once you get access to the site, the next thing is to start the program. And here I'm showing a video in a minute, which will show you exactly what you will find when you go to the site. So you complete an intro to the Wolfram Language Open Course. And this full interactive course will teach you to do computations, to write your first programs, to create graphics and visualizations, and visualizations, and much more. So let's click on it, and you can watch the video. First step, however, is to complete the fully interactive course, an elementary introduction to the Wolfram Language. Some students complete this in two to three weeks. It all depends on you. So what do you see at the website? You see links to all of the chapters in the book, and you can see that you're going to look at functions and lists, tables, text and strings, sound, arrays, real world data, units, geocomputation, and more. At the end, you'll be able to do things like creating your own functions, storing things, importing and exporting, writing good code and debugging your code. If you completely finish, you get the certificate and then the fun really starts. But let's look at this a little more closely. So what you see here is a window with a video and you can listen to someone describe the book or you can read the book text yourself. So let's look at real world data. Here you can watch the video 
you can read about real world data or you can read the te transcript for the movie. Maybe you just missed one thing where you want to go through it more quickly, or maybe you might want to go directly to exercises. You can enter the code and it will check to see if you have entered the code correctly. Also, you can practice in the scratch notebook and that same scratch notebook will be there for all of the chapters. So you can take notes in that and keep track of what you're doing. You can change the size of the windows. So here it asks you to make a bar graph of the masses of planets. And then it allows you to check your solution. If you don't remember how to do that, you can go back to the book text and it will show you. So here it tells you that you can get information about the country Switzerland and the border countries, and it gives you the names. And then you can get the flags for those countries. And you can get the planets. And you can also track your progress to see what you've done. So you're going to find that I believe this is a lot of fun and will very quickly help you to start creating code. Okay, so here what you do is you create projects and join a hackathon. And I wanted to give you an indication of the types of projects that high school students are creating. And if you look here, they're not so complicated. You can also go to these projects and you can look at them, you can edit the code, and you can really understand how to look at these sorts of things. So for example, there's a multi-robot exploration of an enclosed space, uh, computational crocheting, generating 3D uh, optimal rotations. There are things with words, you know, finding all of the words in a book, uh, creating word clouds of character names from works of fiction. The pick out spirals and images of flowers was done by a middle school student. Uh, that's just a uh, image processing uh, process with uh, some other steps. Uh, you can look at COVID, you can look at uh, non-fungible tokens or blockchain. You can look at pretty much any topic you, you're interested in, whether it's for science, math, um, social studies, health, and so on. So I, I encourage you to look at the uh, previous summer school projects and also the Wolfen demonstration projects. And uh, I think that will really help you hone in on what you're interested in and what you want to work on for your project. So what I'm doing here is I'm showing you very quickly a desktop um, login to a Raspberry Pi. So let's say you have uh, a Raspberry Pi in the classroom and you have eight groups. You could each with a, a monitor or with a computer log in with the VNC interface. And here I'm showing you uh, how to process data from a Vernier probe in Mathematica. This happens to be a stainless steel temperature probe. So it's very easy. So now you can think about using Mathematica, not just for programming and computational thinking, but also for doing uh, uh, data processing related to uh, experiments you might do. And here you can see the same interface uh, a VNC interface, but instead of using a large screen, you're using a mobile phone. So I was using there a Android phone and I log into the VNC interface. And now you can see that I, I'm looking at physics demonstration projects. I'm looking at projects that uh, are related to chemistry. And uh, you now can not only look at these projects, but edit them. Okay, the other thing that I can show you here is very in, in just a few minutes, uh, and this is it. There are 12,000 so shows you the 12,000 plus interactive Wolfram demos all running at once. And you can see the amazing variation that you can choose from, the amazing variability that you can choose from. And so those are all running at once. Here are you the demonstration. Excuse me variety. With All of these you can look at the source code for and edit. So it's a whole world to explore. And then on the left you can see code which allows you to have a block going down the ramp and the effects of changing. So as Stephen Wolfram said, the beauty of this is that you can explore, that you can 
It asks more than just the questions which the programmer provided to you. You can now take the code and ask your own questions. So then the question is, how do you get software onto the Raspberry Pi? We've come up with a process where we use the internet, professional learning community to support the internet at rural schools. And teachers in Cambodia are now going onto the Moodle site and they are creating courses which can then be downloaded and then uploaded onto the Raspberry Pi. And these could include, could include courses related to uh, something in your curriculum at school, or it can even be this course which we're creating right now. So after we're done, we can download this and everybody across Cambodia will have the full curriculum that we use to support students in learning how to use Wolfram One. So I want to thank, uh, thank you, the audience, and also Dr. Stephen Wolfram, Professor Chan Rock, Dr. Paul Abbott, and Dr. Carol Cronin. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the Advancing Education site for the Cambodia Wolfram Student Stars. And uh, best of wishes to everyone and see you soon. And I'm now able to answer questions. Okay, thank you so much, Kat, for chatting us with the wonderful uh, topic. And I think it can be new to some of our Cambodian students. So this is a good chance for you to learn it. So Kat, I have got some questions that our participants uh, wrote directly to me in Zoom chat box. So let me read the first question for you. How to get work from license for this project? Okay, so I showed it via a QR code and I can put this back on the screen. So I'll share my screen for a minute. Click this QR code and you'll have it, okay? So I'm gonna share. So this QR code, and this URL is how you get it all, okay? Now, it's not enough to just get that because you won't have help, right? You, you're, you're all by yourself, but why not benefit from 80 teachers and 3,000 students and also all of the things which we are so fortunate to have the opportunity to get from Paul, from Carol Cronin, and especially from Stephen Wolfram. So I encourage you to get the software, which is what this QR code will do, but let's go the next step. Because if you don't, you'll miss out on a lot of good stuff. It's not enough to have the tool. You have to know how to use it, right? So the next QR code is going to give you the access to uh, the community. This QR code will take you to a form. You fill out the form, uh, which means that we know who you are. And then it gives you the directions to log into the website. OK, so take a, a snap of the QR code or write down this URL and that'll give you everything you need to have access to everything. And in addition, as Stephen Wolfram so generously offered, you can contact him and you can contact me or you can contact uh, Paul Abbott. And uh, so uh, we look forward to helping you any way we can. Okay, thank you. Okay. The next question is, uh, can we use Wolfram in all science subjects? You can use it with anything. And here's the idea. If you can quantify it, or if you can come up with a process, then you can put it in Wolfram. Or if it's text, then you can process it. I think you can take anything that's, uh, anything and, and put it in Wolfram. Uh, even abstract concepts can be approached some way. So you can use it in math, every one of your subjects. You can use it in English as uh, Stephen Wolfram showed. He showed you all of the translations for the word dog, right? And that K was the most common. So uh, I, I don't think you can think of any use that you couldn't uh, find a solution in Wolfram 4, but if you think of one, let me know, and I'm sure we can find, find a use for you. Okay, thank you, Kat. And another question from our participant is, what are the benefits of using Wolfram in learning? Okay, let's say you're sitting there in your math class or you're taking calculus 
and you do not understand a derivative, or maybe you do not understand a quadratic equation. Well, all you have is that book, words on a page, right? Why not be able to see it? So in Wolfram, you can take things that are very abstract and you can make them tangible. You can, you can rotate it, you can explore it, you can change it. You can put it into real world situations. You, you can think about really what it means. And not only can you do that, but you, you can explore, but then you can look at other people's explorations, right? There are 12,000 demonstration projects. This is a world of information you don't have. In Cambodia, you don't have libraries, right? This is even better than a library. It takes words from the text and it puts it into a environment where you can explore and you can look at it in different ways and you can build and you can create with it. And so I really hope that you join the group. And even if you just say, okay, I'm going to try for a month, try for a month and then see. And when you're in the group, ask us questions, come into the group and say, how does, how does this help me with my ninth grade math in chapter three? And we can answer that question, you know, or how does it help me in my fourth grade class in English? What can I do? Or how can it help me in my biology class? Biology is especially difficult, right? To think about DNA or to think about transcription or translation. You can now look at the code. You can look at the mechanism of uh, you know, the structure function relationships and understand things. And the questions have been asked, asked already in the demonstration product, project. So even if you don't know what question to ask, you can look at other people's thoughts, right? And not only their thought, but how they conceptualize a solution. And you can take their solution, their code, and you can modify it. You can make it your own. It's really an amazing, uh, amazing ability that you're going to have. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Uh, another question from our participant, Mr. or Miss Tom Lee, maybe. Sorry, I had a mistake. The question is, uh, what should we do if we want to sign up with the free account? Okay, what you do is look at my screen. Take your camera or your phone and open up your camera and go click and then do it just like you're doing your COVID uh, entrance at the stores. You know how when you go to the store and you, you have to scan for COVID? Well, this is the same thing. You scan, but instead of giving you the COVID permission, it's going to give you a link to a Google form. And when you do that, you just fill out the form. Simple, name, school, age, are you a teacher? Are you a student? And then you get uh, Stephen Wolfram's link and you also get the information to go to the website, okay? So if you just have this QR code, you have everything. If you don't want to use the QR code, write down uh, tinyurl.com and then two, P as in Paul, the number eight, A as in Adam, T as in Tom, U as in umbrella, R as in Rome, Z as in zebra. And that will give it to you also. If you just have those two things, you have everything that uh, Paul and Professor uh, um, Wolfram, well, I should say uh, Professor Abbott and Professor Wolfram, everything that they gave, because as, as they give us content, I post it in this Moodle site, okay? And so every day it's going to grow. And in the Moodle site, you ask a question and then that becomes our new focus. So the point of this course is to uh, be facilitators for you, the student. So you'll pick your project. You'll pick what you're interested in. And then based on that, we'll do research and we'll find how to support you. And it, it'll be a two-way conversation, but you, the student, are leading the conversation because the goal here is to make each of you better computational thinkers. You know, I mean, if you want a STEM job, if you want to have a STEM job or if you want to have uh, a, a very interesting career, 
you really must understand computational thinking. It's really at the core of all of the practices for science. It's important in math. You know, computational thinking is how do you break something down? How do you uh, how do you find patterns? How do you come up with a process? How do you test things? This whole thing that we've been stressing is all easily defined here. And the nice thing is you can have your STEM posters at the National STEM Festival. It can be a Wolfram project. You don't have to spend a penny, right? And uh, as Stephen Wolfram mentioned, and as I mentioned, these projects can take you on a trip to America, a paid trip to America, if you get everything completed and if you're good enough, you can participate in the international uh, festivals. This is a very important tool because it's just the best tool out there. And with very little effort, because you have all of this support, 12,000 demonstration projects, you have also uh, the 80 teachers, you have Wolfram supporting you, it will give you the ability to rise very high and be able to to have a conversation with other people who have gone through this journey and understand this. So I, I really think it will give you a lot. And I, you may not see it right now, but uh, it, I, I really hope you all try even for a month. You know, if you're, if you're not sure, give it a month. And, and I look forward to seeing you in the room. And I know I must be running out of time. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Hart. So give me a minute. So I may, uh, would like to spread this information in Khmer to our different participants, especially for the one who asked the question. Chân trọng thưa chú ông Hà Sáu Phong Đá và xin chị Trọng sắc xa từ trường đại tôn nương Cao Lộc Ra sau về bộ phim này ăn thì như tôi sắp nói thì ai scan chú ông cậu Nick Man chẳng những qua camera hay những scan chú ông cậu Nick trên đường này anh tập đo cứ có phô muối để tiêm tiêm ao đường này ông pin xong rồi mà chân nón chương trình ai cũng pin nơi đang xong rồi nơi muối nơi trường anh cho luôn chi xong mà cùng tham gia thêm một đi bộ phim tuyển stars chúng dùng ảnh đường ra ra software work from free hay là công minh cái này short course chuyên ngành sắp ra phần này chương sắp ra phần này phần này là một áp lực này hay cái này là nó là tập hết cái đó là phần phần này cứ miền phần này mà chuyển nướng cái đó là tập hết đến làm á chương ảnh đường cái này là nó có được tố rồi thì ông ông sẽ nói sao anh có được luôn này cứ chọn ra software để chúng ta work from này phù vì chú sắm rồi chia chia sẻ thêm một chút cái này chi we have been functioned with trans about some growth and get to do recall for fellow have same saying yeah since so some had the tonight out of the cat to us and she on myself mean to my with time at uh so long but have a time recall that i'm not going to find some court that uh got none to let email of god the kind of sanity can look on a group of all the center stuff at nhà xã tham gia email that got my comment to come up snap and stop for me the time that don't gonna come up right Uh, from software and uh, some of the so, head. so because of time I'm strained and I would like to stop here and thank you so much for sharing up with the wonderful topic and answering the questions of our participants so I think I would like to give you one last minute if you have any remarking speech thank you well First, I have to thank you, Kim Sign, for your excellent moderation and for all of the people who have made this conference be an amazing success. What would we do without your hard work and effort? I know this has been such a big job, so I thank you. And I also want to thank all the audience, and I hope so much that you take advantage of this opportunity because it will change your life, I know. And I have put into the chat box my email address and also the URL for the form. So you have one more chance at capturing that and share it with your friends. Don't feel that we don't have enough. Stephen Wolfram has been so generous. So you share it with everybody, share it with everybody. And if your teacher is a really good teacher for math and would be a good leader, ask him to be your group leader in this project because for every 40 students, we need an excellent teacher. And if you're here at the STEM Festival, you must have wonderful people in your life who are encouraging you and helping you. And so 
I, I say thank you to everybody. And I uh, say congratulations to all of you for being here at the STEM Festival. And I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you so much.